right. So, last time you guys found mm. the, the hidden back entrance into Trotter's stockade, or at least one of Trotter's allies. Um, when you guys came in, Captain Wolf was going to use the blind hangman as a distraction to try to lure the, the Gitarish away. Which seems to have worked, except for the fact that the Gitarish had already dropped off a, n a number of, of their marines to attack the stockade. So as you guys come in the rear of the stockade, the, uh, the uh, Gitarish foot soldiers have attacked the front. So there's, it's a lot of confusion. You can hear lots of gunfire and sword play throughout the place. Um, as you guys came through, you found the slave pen, or at least one of them, and each of the slaves were surrounded by this shadowy, uh, swirling substance that turned out that it was from a cloaker that was hiding above, uh, which is why you guys didn't get to see its cloaking attack, uh, because it had already used them to subdue all those slaves. And uh, But in the process of fighting the, the slave, or the, the cloaker, uh, poor, poor Vladislav breaks a leg. So shattered, because, shattered my knee. Oh, shattered your knee for six weeks. Because you guys were striking the cloaker, not realizing that it had the ability to transfer the damage to whatever it had wrapped up in it. No, we realized. Yeah. <laughs> or that too. Do you even have legs or you like a bottom up? He's got legs. Okay. He's a purebred. Okay. Which, why that's the purebred? Shouldn't the purebred be just the, the snake? Well, I don't yeah, know. I mean, that's a good question. Only the yeah. Certainly. But we do need to give him a guinea pig to watch him eat it. <laughs> <coughs> so, um, you guys pushed on where you guys eventually came across a orc matron. Are you okay, Jeff? Yes. Okay, thank you. What is it? You came across an orc matron who um, began to interrogate until her husband showed up. And a battle ensued in which you guys were kind of twisting and turning through this little corner here, through doors, and trying to surround the guy. But he did kind of give you guys a, a bit of a trouble, even though you guys outnumbered him. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe it was... Uh, Hawkrosh, who was, weren't you the one attacked by the orc matron with a frying pan? Yep. Yes. Uh, but she missed. <laughs> and I think you killed her, didn't you? Yes. That was horrible of you. She didn't do anything to you. Um, so, uh, that's pretty much where we left off. We've got a number of doors here. Uh, and, uh, let's see. Pass that to Josh. Say so what? Well, Ira's not there. Who says I'm going to be passing that to Josh? What's this? Something awful, I'm assuming. I have it silenced. Okay. So anyway, the f what do you guys do at this point? Sadly, Eric isn't here, and he had always done the majority of the healing, so you guys will have to uh, rely on your war priest over here a little bit heavier. Tempest. Or that right? That's okay. a tempest priest. He was a druid, though. Storm priest. A doodad. Uh, does anybody have any spells left? I don't know what she has. She's lost spells left. That's hot. She's going to be a shirt. Smite to the left. Huh? She doesn't smite to the left, so. No. She's trying to save up. So where are we at? She's smiting on her Christmas. You're in this area right here. Yeah. So that's what, um, what your character looks like if he eats a guinea pig. So, I need that box. We've listened to that. Uh, uh, <coughs> I guess we should open the door. I was say, we listened to that door and didn't hear anything. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the whole purpose for being here is you guys finally caught, also caught up to uh, the Gannet, Captain Tr Trotter's ship. Someone's car alarm going off? It's not mine. You always want to make sure no one's getting into your car? 
We'll throw you up. Be foot. pretty brazen yeah. if you get when the cars Jeff. are going up. You go. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff just wants to shoot somebody. <laughs> That's we throw that door open so we can down fire. fire. Okay, well, we talk about it with flintlocks all day, so. Yeah. Anyway, um, so you guys had caught up to the Captain Trotter's ship, and you had learned that he had torn the map that you guys are seeking yeah. into three parts. And you're assuming, at least according to the information you got from Gordy back at the slave oh, stockade, Gordy. that uh, that he uh, sent the, the three pieces of the map in three different directions, this being one of them. So you're hoping to find at least a third of the map here. So uh, how's everybody on health? Dying HP? Fine. I'm good. Fine. You're a Tempest player too, right? Yes. Yeah. She's a full. Uh, I'm, I am nine HP. So we're fine. <laughs> That's like four. And he has a broken leg, so you've got, or a knee. you got it splinted up, so he's down to a 15 foot move. I'll, I'll splint him. I'll make a heal check. Okay. You're going to re splint his leg? You did that last week. But oh. Yeah, you you want to do it anyway? Hard. Just tighten it up real good. <laughs> that looks too loose. I don't think he splinted up last week. Oh, well, go ahead, Jeff. I think he needs to turn it around the neck. Is that through tight? No, okay. Mm -hmm. you know, remove that LB. 22. <laughs> All right, so you've fashioned a splint for his leg, so he's able to kind of hobble around a little bit. It's a 15-foot move. I made, it, I made it bent on purpose. <laughs> I used a square. <laughs> he, he can only I walk, walk in circles. I walk by and kick the other leg out. <laughs> <laughs> Sweep the leg, Johnny. <laughs> I did watch. I did watch Cobra Kai. Of course you did. Was it, it was awesome. Are you gonna watch the rest of the series? Well, I can't because I have to pay for YouTube Red or whatever. Uh, can't you, can't, you can't uh, just buy the individual first episodes. door there? First door. There. First door. Locked. <laughs> All right. The big one top and one in front. Seventeen for the time being. Yeah. <laughs> Seventeen check. We have checking no it. meat to the party. <laughs> checking for traps. Yeah. All right, you don't find any traps. All right. Is it locked? It is not locked. All right. You want to open it? Yeah. Because I listened and I didn't hear anything before. All right. Let's see. There's no ship mimics in here. It's a small room. Uh, this small room is. Stacked floor to ceiling with double bunk beds. Uh, you think you could? They could house as many as ten individuals in this room. They just cram them in. And then hot rack. Um, <laughs> however, no one is in this room at this double time. Should be triple bunk beds. <laughs> there are uh, there are a number of what look like, for lack of a better term, fanny packs at each bunk, hanging off. All right. You look around and a very quick look through the room, you're able to find 31 copper pieces. So Twenty-six. Anything in the packs? That's uh, yeah. through all the packs. Okay. You find 31 copper Bunch pieces. Of secret rooms. No Nine. pop tarts, or you don't find any secret doors. Nor pop tarts or donuts pile. <laughs> Next door. Jelly donut. <laughs> Sweet mother of God. If it worked for a weekend like you, there would be a seed for in this world. No crap a pile. What do you guys do now? Next door? This room here. Let the rogue do his thing. I made mine nice and heavy. Seventeen. Seventeen. Checking it. You don't find any traps. Uh, <coughs> block. I filled the base. It's uh, not locked. Right. With caulk. I'll open. I'll open it. Oh. Okay. But I had to soak it first. It looks like a storeroom. 
with another 10 by 10. Yeah. Uh, 15 investigations. Spare leather straps, rivets, nails, bolts of cheap cloth, boxes of iron rations. So it's like a storage room. Come out chewing some jerky. That's what you find. How many? Let this spread again. How big is that? <laughs> Like a crate, it's a big crate of iron rations. How many would be like a day broken down inside? Yeah, it's a pound a day. Well, okay. a couple of, a couple, I'll take about five days worth of rations. Okay. Uh, secret rooms? 24? You don't find any secret rooms in there. You can look four doors first before finding your room. Is there a tax? What? Tax? Tax? Yeah. How big is the head of the nails? Um, well, they're nail. I mean, they're like medieval nails, you know. Roofing nails? Yeah. Take a ton of square nails. You can, you can take three of them and twist them together and make cow trips. So we got four doors here. <coughs> Which side are we starting with? Super I'd say this side because it's probably yeah. the outside wall or whatever. I concur. Uh, I'll listen at it first for uh, 15. Okay. Which door are you going to? One the left. Alright, you listen at it and you don't hear anything. What'd you roll? 15. Hey, I'm I'll move up ahead to the hallway. To look mm -hmm. locked? To peek down the hall. Does it look locked? Yeah. It's kind of hard to tell just by looking at it. It is locked. Feels like it's barred from the other side. Yeah. Is that oh. you just got one for the ration or a skinny in. necromancer. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a wooden door? It's just a wooden door. What about this other door down here? That cross here in front of Can you check it? Sure. I'm wondering if those two don't connect to the same room. These two? Yeah. Uh, first I will listen. 18. Uh, you hear. Get ready. Alright, this one up? Yeah. I'm ready to swing. Okay. So. I will search I'll, I'll the door. Sneak up behind you. Search the door clump, clump, clump. or investigate and it. Swing at anything that comes out that door. Okay. Well, nothing's going to come out of it because he's standing in the way, but. Okay. Uh, it's apparently not trapped. It's not trapped. <laughs> well, as far as I know, it's not. Uh, is it locked? Uh, it is not locked. Step to the side okay. and get ready to throw the door open. So you step to here. Yep. Yeah. All right. And then I will ready. Actually, and I ready a spell. Oh, wow. All of a sudden, the door flies open. Kill them all! You hear? <laughs> Does it really? Yes, sure. <laughs> All right, so let me let me construct this because three it's doors fly place. open actually, a total of three <laughs> doors. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Door here. open. They just pull the maid apart. It's like the Russians who made ties with prisoners. Am's going to come down and force the only one to pluck. 
<laughs> Our only warrior. Besides oh, the damn dwarfs, Josh. Go ahead, go get uh, some paper towels. Kind of this spray bottle, will you? I think we're out down here, Josh. Run to the supermarket quickly. Okay. Run, Run to Casey's. Oh, well, let's see. Run. You, you might as well cut down a tree and I'll stay the Jeff's car there. If you're going to Casey's for it. Let me make sure I'm getting the right. I think it's yes. And then this hole in a bottle of rum. All right, you're playing Reveille. Reveille. Oh. It's my alarm in the morning. Here is two sheets dead. Oh, of course it is. That's a full sheet, Josh. No, that's two sheets. That's a full sheet. Holy sheet. Here you go, Matt. You want to get that flank that I accidentally just removed? Yeah. Thanks. Damn tours. Like the state. That is a three sheets dead. Let's see, what do we got here? Got this dude. Okay. Nothing to chop. Yep. Oh, wait. Cloth, the cloth. Yes, okay. Some temple of doom. <laughs> He's grasping him. I need a swing shot for these. <laughs> That would hurt. Can you start this with a, yeah. stick in the 12 -gauge? A couple of half orcs. There. Could you stick it in the <laughs> You could. I, I would tell you how to do it, but I don't want to get them another strike. <laughs> because any description on how to manufacture uh, ammunition or explosives would get you a strike. Yeah, quiet, Josh. I didn't ask quiet! I, I didn't quiet! Ask yeah, that's better, Josh. Good job. I'm going to use that miniature just because it's awesome. Where's that other guy I wanted? Aha! Three guys. And then one more. Believe it or not, that's how I hurt my back yesterday. I was getting miniatures, around, getting something out, <laughs> lifting miniatures. Oh, it's a form of exercise. agony. I woke up a guy threw his back out picking up a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he was out for four months. What t-shirt was he lifting up? <sighs> the company logo t-shirt. Oh. <laughs> okay, so. Three doors fly open. In this room, you see two half orcs ready to to spring out. Of course, Byron's right there. There's a guy heavily armored here, a guy dual wielding here. How do they coordinate? Do they have and radios? I don't know. Do they have radios? How are they going to spring through the wall? Huh? How are they going to spring through well, they're not springing through the wall. Sending stones. They're standing at the door. And yeah, the doors one up. Oh, sorry. They're getting, <laughs> I, I, my, uh, the the lattice lock there. Sorry. Um, and then this big ass, let's look at a half ogre, throws open the door. And we need to do some initiative rolls. That would be a near perfect thunder wave if I do this in there. <laughs> yeah. Look at Mr. Fancy Pants back there. Everybody takes 16 damage. Alright, uh, Serial. You see him? I mean, look at him. Fancy yeah. lad. He's a, he oh, yeah. is a fancy feller. Yeah. He's a fancy lad. Yeah, he is. <laughs> That's a pretty good initiative roll. What'd you get, Byron? 10. Yeah, 10. Trust? Oh, 12. 
sorry, 12. Six, hot rush. Four. Four, was that a four? Yes. Vladislav, two. A two, Misa. I rolled a one. Four things. <laughs> Thank you for interrupting our countdown. <laughs> Oh, the monster's got a one as well. Wow. So, even though they coordinated flinging the door open, you guys still got to jump on them. So, Misa, you're first. Hmm. It's <clears throat> cramped. It is. I hate fighting inside. It is cramped. Very cramped. I'm going to try and shoot that guy. Right through the door there? Yeah, okay, I see where you're at. Where's what the door position on that ogre? It's, it's it's not at the end of the hall. Okay, good, good. That's what I thought. So he'll, he'll have disadvantage to hit you around the corner. I'm going to shoot over the Moscow. Uh, Fourteen. A 14 on the half-orcs misses. So a big billowing cloud of smoke and a loud pop right in Vladislav's ear. <laughs> and it's Serial's turn. There's no one out doing anything in there. I try to attack that guy around the corner with disadvantage. Yeah, it's just tough to get in there with everyone in the way. Misses. Right. You only have plus two to hit? A plus six. Oh, you rolled a six? That was a twelve. Yeah. So that's an eighteen. Oh, that is an eighteen. What was your other roll? An eighteen. Yeah. Well, eighteen hits. All right. Don't you have the assassinate thing? Yep. So is that an automatic crit? No, that's a... Unless they were surprised. The crit is on after surprise. But oh. it gets advantage on I got you. initiative, so they're surprised. Well, they're not surprised. They were coming the out to attack, too. Got a, the drop arm, that was yeah. far from surprise. No, we got the drop on them. Points. 18 points. Yeah. 18? Yeah. Oh, that half orc drops. I would suggest some magic instead of today. Yes, Alright, so you run him through and he drops. Yeah. Trusk? Oh, uh, we small advantage to attack him. Great club, the half over. Where are you? Are you going to step in front of the door? Or take disadvantage? Take disadvantage. Hawkrush? I don't have identified. Hold on. Let me see dimensions here. Very narrow. Can I see that, Mr. Fancy Pants, or is he in a separate room? He's in a different room. Okay, so there's not a doorway in between there. No. Ooh, that hurts. Make them really upset at you. <laughs> Take that. Yeah, his whole hobble is 15. It's too close of quarters for that. He can 
can get to here on a on a disengage. Yeah. But isn't Byron threatened? No. Because he's around the corner. The doors are Oops. on both sides of you. Hey, half over. Window <coughs> camping. You tell him moist. No. I'm inviting him to go camp for the rest. So you want him to say, make a wisdom save. Is that what you're saying? Yes. 19 on the die. Alright. Thanks, critical dice. You were hoping he was going to run, didn't you? Three points. I will. Okay. I am indeed. And I will move to... I'm back in the, up down the hallway. How far? To the corner. Okay. This one here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forget this. I'm gonna go. I grow the next room. Uh, is there anything down that hallway? Well, let me yeah. see. Populate the map. The fog of war. Yes. I'm gonna go open more doors during the battle. Just go you go you pull a bow. Call you a wolf. I remember Eric was so mad at Bow when he did that because he pulled in like four rooms worth of monsters into a single encounter. <laughs> Wasn't that the one that beat our day? No. Vidar died because he wouldn't. I was like this. It was this era. It was essentially like a golem factory, right? So each room was constructing different types of golems that were inert until until an enemy walked in. Well, he like so he just dimension he just dimension doored room to room, and they all came to life. So suddenly you weren't facing one encounter's worth of golems; you were facing four. And I remember you guys. I don't remember if anyone died, but I remember it was a really, really we, we, we took a beating. Bad thing. Considering two or three of us had triple digit HP. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, Vladislav, what do you Is do? Is that guy wearing metal armor? Uh, the, the half orc? Yes. Or the other one next to you? The one next to me. This one? Yes. Yes, he's wearing metal armor. I'll try shocking grasp to man at advantage. Okay. Would I provoke off of uh, him? No, because he's around a corner from you. Eight, eight points of lightning. Okay. Are you going to run now? Yeah, move me 15 feet away from him. Which direction? That way or this way? Uh... That way. This way? Yeah. Alright, alright, there you go. Fifteen feet away. You hobble away holding your knee. And it's the monster's turn at last. And Fancy <laughs> Pants here, he's telling, <coughs> Fight up! Get us a path out of here! Kill them all! Fight! Fight! Freaking he's just Marshall. yelling. He's just yelling to get, uh, telling his, his warriors there to fight a path. Fight a way through. Is that somebody we're looking for? I don't know. I'm looking for a man. He's fancy, and he's barking orders. Who so he thinks he's a captain? Huh? What was the name of the guy in charge of this Gordon, the fisher. Gor Gordon was the other one. Yes. Trotter. Uh, you were told that this was an ally, an ally of Trotters, though you weren't given the specific name. Uh, the half. The guy's acting like he's a, a captain. He steps into the hallway and attacks Byron for stabbing his buddy. He's got a great axe. He should have, he should have been getting way more. Great it's not a bad axe. I think I hit you with a 20. Thirteen points of damage. Uh, this guy right here is going to also attack fire, but it's going to get disadvantaged because it's around a corner. <laughs> Difficult to get to him. Okay, let's do this next time. Oh, yeah! Missed. Um, the ogre is going to attack. The half ogre, I should say, is going to attack Vladislav. Or not Vladislav, but uh, Trusk. At disadvantage. Trying to squeeze through there. Missed.
Bring the elven army this time? I did. Oh, yeah, there's an elven army in the yellow back. Josh, you get some el some elvish the elvish armies. armies. Oh, oh. Archers. And a plate. If I step in front of the door and then back, is that can I do that? Yeah. Still engaged, okay. I'll step in front. Swing. But you provoke from the half orc behind you. Yeah, that's one. Oh, I didn't know his name. <laughs> but I missed you. What's your own class? The 12 16. Okay, I missed you anyway. 21 on the. You hit. Oh, Josh, ow! Come on, man. You got it. Uh, five damage. Five damage to the ogre. Yeah. And then I'll move uh, to the corner. There you go, Jeff. Apparently, Eric's some, somebody, something Eric naughty stuff. Since he blames me for it. Why did you? So I'm at disadvantage to shoot the half ogre. I don't even think you can see him from here. You'd have to advance right behind him. From the end of the hall? Yeah, I can see through that door. I mean, the door is the door's here, not here. Right. This corner right here. You know how hard that would be? So how far up do I have to move to see him? From there? Yeah, fair. Yeah, I'll try shooting him. Alright. Does a four hit? No. <laughs> Vladislav? You want to move back now? No, I'm going to stay there. Is there a way I can hit something? <laughs> you can see the half orc in, in the hall. Do I need a wisdom save, Josh? Oh, that was good. 
I don't think I ate enough before I took all those pills. At least you're not driving. It'll be Josh driving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Price saves. Magic missile. Alright. A weapon. Monster's turn. Um, Byron? Well, hold on. Trust. The half is going to try to grapple you. I think he's going to try to reach out and grab you and drag you into the room. Okay, roll your athletics. Noonan! Minus three on your roll. Matt. Okay. Cutting words. Noonan. Okay. 18. All right, so you fend him off. The half-orc half provokes from Byron. Okay. There's no sneak attack on him, though. Give me a hand there. Uh, that's a try to distract him in the middle he of the charges exactly. Trusk with his great axe. Uh -huh. oh. Oh. Ah! Exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Can't help you on that one. Already used it. Uh, Maybe I should have waited. Eight points of damage. Okay, hold on. I'm going to use Wrath of the Storm. Okay. And you need to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Thank you, critical dice. Seven thunder damage. Okay. Um, then the guy with the shield pushes in the hall. This guy steps forward. Took my spot. <laughs> and attacks pirate. Longsword. I hit. Where's... Uh, there's my critical dice. Five points of damage. You still up? Oh, yeah. Second attack. Missed. From around the corner, the guy with the two named knives. Two daggers. Hit. I only brought one. I'll get some bangs in it. Oh, you're right. Missed. Second attack. Maybe a hit. Definitely a hit. He sneak attacks you. For <coughs> nine ten. Um <coughs> he's uh, uh Oh. All right. This guy is wearing heavy armor and all that, right? Yes, he's got a shield and, he, and a plate armor on. This is like Dead Knight for Byron. Dead Dead will loves these. That will over sugar me. Uh, Do you have your thunder where you're very weak? Yes. In the armor. Natural 20. Alright. 12. Okay. I think it's cheated. Uh, the pair of daggers, guys. Like a small piece of lead. Natural 20. Wow, critical dice are on fire today. Uh, the half orc. A three. And he is killed. And the ogre. And the ogre. The ogre. So the half orc is thrown into Trusk. 
<laughs> and the ogre fails. Okay, got it. Them a little bit. Can I can you get some of your ruffles? Hey, we'll put it on camera too. These are the best ruffles ever. Awesome. Nick of Chip Science. Are they sponsoring you too? No. They could be. Cereal. Sponsored by the right things. Oh, bonus action. I'm not flying in that room. Still on disadvantage to shoot him, huh? Yeah. It's just a weird angle there. I'll move me back to the corner. Oh, he takes an edge. Book. Right. He's still reaching. He's already at disadvantage because the door, so. I'll just try to shoot him. Thirteen? Hey. 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 Take four. Ow. Is that including your dex bonus? Oh, six. Gladys lock? And fall back to the corner. Um, the guy in plate armor needs to make a wisdom save. That's even Bell's tolling. Eighteen. He makes it. And move wait. Move me up five. This one? Or this one? Forward. Wait, would I be in the reach of the yeah. oh, oh, never mind, don't move me up. Ah. Okay. Okay. Monster's turn. Natural 20 or natural 20. Wow. Thanks, critical dice. Yeah, I think they let me. Uh, <laughs> I'll hide them under, under the floor. Yeah, so Do the float test in salt water when you finish drinking. I said just float it in this toilet. 10. 28 they, points of damage. I'm done. I have the salt water. Trust gets, just gets Do the salt hammered the toilet by the half ogre and it dropped. Hammered. Yes. And just dropped like a sack of potatoes out in the hall. 
hot water testing toilet. All if, right. If they flush so water, the, the guy with the shield and sword, he's going to attack Serial. Uh, All right, hit. For eight points of damage, fire him down. Fire him down. And he comes around the corner here. And he's going to attack you, Josh, with his second attack. Hit. For three points of damage. Okay. And this guy yells, uh, let's see where she is. Uh, I feel pretty. <laughs> no, he yells, come on, Estereth. And this guy starts moving up behind him. He's going to attack you. Missed. And then with his offhand dagger. Natural 20. Wow. Critical dice. And Fuego today. Five points of damage. Misa? Bonus action. I'm surprised you don't have shocking grass. That's gone. Yeah. I'll go back to the door there. Which door? Okay. Hot crash. Unconscious. <laughs> His ghost says, I need help. <laughs> so a sleep at the back of the room behind the half ogre will get all three of them, and it'll only catch him in it, and he's already out. Except it's contained in that room, Jeff. Why? Because there's a wall separating them. You might put one on the first square where the ogre was, and I'll get the ogre and the guy in the hallway, but not him. Is the open doors. So you want to put it where? The first square of the ogre. Where? Yeah. I'm not sure that the sleep spell goes around corners, does it? The corner of the doorway. So you're going to put it in this square? Yeah. yeah okay. put it there. So I'll get those two. Okay, so you'll advance to see that square, right? Like you did before. I can see the back corner of the square. You're just going to back up there. So, no, because I don't want to be in the area. Why not? No, I'm not <laughs> advancing. I can see it. 
the back corner of that square I can see. Okay. Without advancing. So those two. And how many how many hit points? A second level sleep? sweep spell. Big bucks, no whammy. Big bucks, no whammy. Here we go. Lots of ones. Six. Twelve. Fourteen. Twenty-two. Twenty-four. Twenty-seven. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. So the ogre falls asleep. Collapses on the ground. Forward. Moist. <laughs> Vladislav. Uh, uh, five feet. games. Where? Uh, back. Four. Then cause fear. Um, and the hole in the hole and I'm up at that corner now, too. Nope, the corner by him. And he's... That takes from the turn of my failed so you have to... Uh, so... Yep. Wisdom safe? Do you have to touch him? Is it a touch spell? Uh, I don't think it is. Range, 60 feet. Okay. 15. 15. You make it. He's not afraid of you. You don't scare me. You don't scare me. Yeah. Alright. Unless you kill him. Yeah, that's actually Thank you, Josh. First attack. Misses with a one. Oh, I thought. Offhand anger. Misses. The guy in the hall. Astareth. Well, you should automatically crit him. Um, looks like he has. I was going to say, refuse to kill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So he has a long sword as well. <clears throat> sword. He misses. Misa. Alright. This guy looks like he's lightly armored. He's got a tunic on. Underneath, you can catch chainmail. Does he have a poofy shirt? He does. Looks like he's got a poofy shirt. <laughs> Trust. Get up. Okay. Uh, we'll whack his ass. Use your vicious club. It'll do extra damage on a crit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can move like over and walk him down too. Down and get rid of it. Yeah. While he's down, you can move through him to make it easier for everybody else to gang up on him. Do you have the vicious club? Yeah, the crit, that's an extra two weeks. Well, it's an auto crit when it's helpless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, I'll uh, move into the corner. So it's adva ad advantage. Yeah. And auto crit. If you hit. Yeah, if I hit. Alright, uh, I think a 17, 23 will hit. Yep. So that's an auto crit. Yep. I think a vicious 
So, so it'd be two six siders and two ten siders. Is a uh, great club at eight? Is the yeah, it's eight. Oh. Three D eight because you're your eye fault, right? Yeah. Huh? Three D eight. He's full orc, isn't he? Or no. he half orc. Half orc. Three D eight. And three D six. Alright, so you split his skull open, his little pea brain leaks out onto the floor. Alright, and we fall out of initiative. <laughs> I'll move down to the end of the hall and watch that door from okay. the corner while they loot the bodies. Alright. Uh, I'd like to search Fancy Man to see if, uh, if he has anything. Fancy man. Hold an arrestor. I don't know. In the middle of a battle. <clears throat> yeah, I mean it's it's a running battle for the whole. I'll take a quick search on Fancy Man. Fort. 18 for investigation. All right, you don't need to roll an investigation unless you're looking for something hidden, like his keys or something. I'm gonna. Well, yeah, he has cash cure wounds on myself. Are you gonna are you gonna check his keys here? Uh. Oh, Ooh, check. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so Vladislav is pulling the pants off of Vlad. <laughs> he drops the guy's <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the fancy guy had a long sword. Spread the chain. Rather ordinary looking long sword. Suit of chain mail. Oh, wait, I'm going to get a sword. For sure. Drop it. He also has a wand. Uh, if you, can you identify it? Yes, it'll take ten minutes. Maybe not right now. I'll take a one. Or you take one minute and that gives a spell slot. Let's see, the half orcs, one had, one had a long sword and a, and a short sword. The other one had a great axe. Um... One had an ivory handled dagger worth 30 gold. Um, I like that. The so, big, big armored one with a shield? Yeah. How much did these Big armored one with a shield had plate armor and a shield and a long sword. How much did these get for? D8. I'm gonna grab a shield. Okay. Just an ordinary shield. I'm gonna drink this healing potion. Alright, good. Oh, Anything on the fork? The, the ogre. Oh, the ogre. He had a great big club. You mean a tree trunk? Yes. <laughs> Telephone pole. Hang on, let me check this room real quick. See if there's anything in there. Roll the minimum. Ooh. Two, two ones. Well done, Josh. Well done. <laughs> at least I'm back up to nine. Nine? Yeah, I'm sitting at four. About half. I'm at four. <laughs> the bard with six con is at four. He's writing smarter. That's that's what the little con character does. It stays in the back <laughs> and runs. <laughs> Again, like Mike Tyson always said, people always have a plan to fight Mike Tyson until they get punched in the jaw. <laughs> until they get punched in the face. Yeah. <laughs> get that first punch and the plan goes to crap. Yep. <laughs> no plan survives contact with the enemy. George Foreman? Yeah. I loved it when he did when he did his comeback title when he did the press conference with a bag of cheeseburgers. <laughs> there you go. He found a wand. In the ogre's room. Let's see. It's like he brought it was like a, a paper sack full of like 
ate cheeseburgers and he was eating them as he did a press conference talking about doing a comeback fight. <laughs> The only thing you find in the ogre's room, the only thing you find in the ogre's room, is an enormous, is an enormous great sword. Um, is it taller than me? Yeah. It is taller than you. Yes, commissioner. One moment, Commissioner. He's going out to smoke. I guess we're taking a break for a minute. Commissioner Gordon has called. Ugh! Your Honor. Does anybody even take it that, uh, is magic? Uh, it, it's a wand, so I'm assuming it's magical. No, it's a wand. Oh. Which sword? I don't know. Oh, the big great you know, sword. I don't have a detect magic ready. I have to ritual cast it. No, you know what I want? Not that. No, I want, I want the Mountain Dew. What's wrong with you? No caffeine. Just give me two. Thanks. Caffeine is a trigger for uh, the Vicodin, so it enhances it. Josh? Here we go. Two more. Thank you. I'll have Lance hurt you later. Traps, huh? Does it tell you what kind of traps? No, just 
text on them. What I find interesting about this item is that it explodes. No, it's just it's <laughs> so useful. And every time I've given out this item, it's almost like pulling teeth to convince someone to take it. Charges are going to be gone for the next thing. Good morning, yeah. It takes traps. Good morning, it is all. Okay, so you guys have defeated the, the essentially the oh um, the guy that you killed that was all dressed up, fine garments, and everything. He does not look like a pirate. He does not look like Captain Trotter. You guys all know what Captain Trotter looks like. You've seen him about Freeport before. Um, this guy looks more like a merchant. He seemed completely inept when he tried to wield his sword. And the chainmail he wears is, for lack of a better word, more decorative than than useful. Um, the, uh, however, that those bodyguards they had they were serious business. Um, the one wearing full plate armor, plate armor. Did anyone take the plate armor, by the way? I'm not gonna wear it. Me neither. Could use it. Weighs like a hundred pounds, right? Do Don't be overboard. Uh, like a fifty or sixty. I can say to you. I'm not going along with it. So everyone's passing on the plate armor then. I could take it, but I'm not strong enough for it. I'll take it. Can you wear it? You're gonna carry it then? Yes. It does have to be refitted for you. Yeah, in the, in the right circumstance, it would be good to have. You'll just need to get it refitted. Not fall in the water. Well, you could wear Probably it. not going to wear it on the ship. Wear it when we're about to go on land. It's not a bad idea. Cat versus dog fight. Did the dog win? Nope. Cat always wins. Cats oh. have switchblades. <laughs> yeah, dogs have vice grips. Yeah. What do you give your cats? It's an added touch for the blanking. Put people in plate armor. Just the, just the pauldrons. Or the greaves. Yeah. So we can do that in shallow water, so we can go get the plate armor back. Just the cat's piece. They're done dying. All right. So, so what do you guys do? Them. So what did we find? Anything cool? Found a wand, um, an ivory-handled dagger, secret detection. Uh, and let's see. You haven't really. The only room you've searched is the ogre's room. You've been giant searching bodies. Sword. Merchant room. You found a giant great sword. Great sword. Merchant room. I'll go look through it. All right. 19. Alright, you find a chest underneath the bed. Alright. While he's searching, 17. Josh, do you want to do your identify on the wand? 17 for uh, searching for traps. It is trapped. Alright, so you've disarmed the trap, you believe. Yes, it is locked. So that's in the high 20s. Okay. So you open up the chest, and there are two very small pouches, one large leather sack, 
and several potions. Oh, goodness. Ooh, potions. Any of those healing? The large sack. The large sack is all gold, gold coins, 600 of them. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to do with these 300 gold coins? Give me a look at them. All the one of them down? <laughs> what? The two smaller ones. I'll look in them. Uh, one has 20 mm -hmm. platinum pieces, and the other one has five amethysts worth 50 mm -hmm. gold each. That's a big healing potion. So the greater is 4d4 plus 4. I did not succeed. So you know, it was pretty, like a fry. You pretty a tough fight, fight but a, a, uh, a flimsy main drink. That was awesome. But uh, a high powered sleep spell put the half ogre <laughs> to sleep and then he brained it. Who else needs a healing potion? I just, Byron's handing them out. I just I want to drink a healing potion. This is the normal one? That's a normal one. I'll drink a normal one. 2d4 plus 2. Just double two twos this time. Byron, are you but drinking that one? Ones. Yeah. Well, I got four hit points. Uh, is that the bigger one or smaller one? That's one of the bigger ones. So it's 4d4. Go ahead and take another one off. Which one? Bigger one or smaller one? Smaller one. 2d4 plus 2. There you go. Nice. Right. Oh. Wait, the plus 2. Yes. Yeah. So, so yeah, you want to split the two between us? Left? Left? There's a big one and there's a small one left. Well, a greater and a small one. Normal. Yeah. Oh. Potion tokens. I picked them up up here. You really need that more than I do. Alright, so you took the other one? Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's see that roll, Byron. Is that the one? No, that's what they're eating, right? Yeah, that's a regular healing. Okay. Greater is how much you do? 44 plus 4. 14. Okay. You want my jacket? Is my jacket over there? No. You want one? You want your blanket? It's right over there. Josh, go get her her blanket. It's like 80 degrees. <laughs> no, it's not. There's no way, Jacob. Let's see what it is. Like. 79. Oh, 73. The air, the air conditioner gets 83. Yeah, like this gets, this room gets pretty cold when we crank the air. That's why we have to have the warmer upstairs because this room gets so really cold. But it's like half underground, so you get that natural. Cold. Cold. And some tin knocker optimized it. I did. Um, sadly, the heat just, it, this room won't, there's no insulation right here, so that you won't hold heat. But. All right. What happened to your case? It broke. Did I order you a new one? No, I didn't need one, though. No, I did. No. This thing's right. going to need replaced eventually. I dropped it here, and it's the, the actual glass is popping out. Man, I highly recommend this case. Well, when I get a new phone, I'll get the Kevlar one. Is that the Mag Mag yeah, the Magpul <laughs> phone case. All right. So you have now searched two of the rooms. Don't You're try to make pull. Mm -hmm. Just don't try to load the phone. That means my main pull has to send you free stuff since we just want to do. Maybe. You guys, are you guys done searching, ready to move on? Maybe. Yeah. Again, about, I yeah, highly recommend the Magpul phone field case the phone in. case. Please send us stuff. This this room <laughs> was the half-orc room. This one? What are we doing? No, this one. What are we We're opening this one. Are you going to open it? Go yeah. through rooms. Um, you guys are going room to room searching for the, a third of the map. Um, and yeah. you're hoping to either find Captain Trotter, because you saw the yeah. Gannet here, or at least find the map that he brought here. A piece of the map. All they gave me was a Okay, so, um, you go to that door and begin messing with the, the doorknob, 
and there's somebody on the other side holding the doorknob, and you, you hear gasps and high pitched squeals. Well, it, it, it says it's not like and open the door. We're friends. We'll go kick it in. What do I need to do? He was doing his thing for that. You want what do you want to do, Matt? Make your persuasion. There's a deception. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. A, well, it depends on if you really are gonna be nice to them. I guess for now. Uh, Twenty one persuasion. Twenty one. You hear a little squeaky voice say ah, ah, You don't hurt? You don't hurt? No hurt. Promise. And the Whoever was holding the doorknob, let's go. Kick the door. You're going to kick it in? <laughs> yeah, gonna open it. All right. Thankfully, because the door was closed inside, my fingers closed. This is a small slave's quarters. There are a number of goblins and kobolds in here. Um, let's see. A total of eight goblins and ten kobolds are crammed in here and act as servants. Um, a kobold steps forward. He's got like the leg of a small table in his hand because he thought that you guys were coming to kill him. And he says, I, 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 me badger. Me ba I'm, I'm badger. Hi badger. You leave us alone, right? You can have, you can have everything we have. And he holds out 17 copper pieces. You guys know your way about this key. Well, oh, we we not allowed to we not allowed to move out of here. We we just serve these rooms. I don't think anybody's <laughs> gonna say anything about that right now. Do they know? Do they know the fancy shirt guy? Show him to a uh, yeah. Drag a corpse. Is yes. That, is that the guy that says you can't get out of this room? Uh, yes. Yeah. That's Master Stareth. Ma he's the master here. Master Stareth, yes. Not anymore. <laughs> Another phone call. Another phone call. What is a phone? The sending stone. Oh! Okay. He says, he says, we know, we know kitchen. Kitchen is around corner. Kitchen is around corner. We can hear fighting. How do you get to the rest of the place? We don't know. We, we keep here. We're not allowed. So it's probably to the kitchen. Well, we've got to get away to get the food to the kitchen. Are there any secret doors you know of? Se secret what? Dumbwaiters. No. Oh. Spell a bunch of slaves. I don't have third level spells. So they're not real people because they're slaves, is that what you're saying? The red we just don't uh, want anybody sneaking up behind us and backstabbing us. With, with, their t with the leg of a chair, a table? They're, they're obviously here voluntarily. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye. Alright, I'll move up to the kitchen door and take a listen to get that in. All right. Had to give you something to edit. Oh, I'll, I'll add. What is that? Uh, investigation. What are you Perception. doing? Perception. Listening. Perception. Perception. Hey, that's much better. Uh, Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Um. You don't hear anything. You hear somebody playing a harmonica behind you. Oh, that's oh. The, the slave. Where do you want to be, Em? Oh, I want to ask the slave. Rogue. Hey, Rogue, you want to check the door out? What's wrong with it? 
looks like it said it's hungry. up there please. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I, I got it. I got it. Oh. I'll, I'll stay at the uh, I'll stay right around the corner, peeking around the corner. Okay. Looks good. No, yeah, that's good. Yeah, leave the get the get the little uh get the little mini tank up close to the front. Hear any scent? No. I cast synesthesia. Crack the door. Look in. All right. So you throw the door open. <laughs> All right. Let me draw this out. Kick the door open. Drink my potion. Go. <laughs> I'm sorry, the only songs that my bard knows are uh, John Denver and Neil Young songs. Sweet home and all that. I will say that. Uh, Alien Covenant and the placement of Take Me Home Country Road is fantastic. I love that movie. Okay. Okay. So let's see here. So did he identify the wand? He did. It's a wand of secrets. Three charges a day it makes you buy a book. Three three charges a day. It can de detect. It can detect secret doors or traps, and it regains D three charges a day. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. So that's Jeff. Oh, that's the wrong box. Gosh darn it. Do you need theme music? I pushed one behind your chair. Is that oh, it? yeah, that's. Is that why you were telling me you needed to do music? Yeah. Uh, four days ago. Let's see. Your peeps. Alright. So, are we dead yet? Working on it? Am I dead yet? Lots of Alright, so as soon as you open the door, as soon as you open the door, you can see... Machine Draper? It looks like this would have been like a large mess hall, but there are a number of um, tables that are pushed up to form a barricade. And as soon as you open the door, this guy smashes the legs out of a giant... Will you turn that off, please? Smashes the legs out of this giant stand holding a keg, and the keg starts rolling towards you. <laughs> and uh, it will need deck saves. <laughs> yeah. Well, just the three in this line. It is the Indiana Jones trip. There, you've got it right there on the table. Yeah. There's the keg. <laughs> there you go. So it's Wait, rolling towards you've got you. enough barrel miniatures. Get one of the barrels. Yeah, I painted those barrels for a reason. I will. Hold on. Yeah, 20. 20? 
We need some crates and barrels. Sponsorship. I know I've donated plenty of crates and barrels Josh to the collection. Barrels. Barrels. Alright. So there are a number of upturned tables. You have a bunch of tables too. Josh isn't paying I got you yet. all the stuff Blame to Josh. furnish the tavern. Well, you haven't asked me to. I, I told you, get to work on all that stuff. I'm not a Chinese sweatshop worker. Amdia, do you like the new miniature for Hot Crash? Ugh. With the white hair. <sighs> Josh, where'd you put the barrels? I gave them to you. Oh. That's a custom mini. Well, that's fine. They're in that box over there. Well, get them. I can't. Byron, Byron's in the way. Byron, get the box. What's wrong with that for a barrel? We no. have actual barrels. Come on. <laughs> you're, you're ruining the, the immersiveness of the game. The immersion? Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, there they are. Remember I used those oh, barrels for me a barrel. Yeah, can you grab a... Oh, there's some barrels. We got some barrels. There. Are you happy, Jeff? Much better. Now get the tables out. The tables aren't done. <laughs> Tell Dion to get the tables. Hi, Felix. How are you? Oh, awesome. You're hobgoblins. I'm going to recruit them. <laughs> That's another thing that we're building, Jeff. Um, a, 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 a race of Arctic hobgoblins called the Draugr. All right. It's like the, the Swedish uh, biathlon team. <laughs> The the para the parasailing snowmobiles. Mm -hmm. All right, so, ja or uh, Byron, what did you get on your deck save? Twenty two. You also know the bad uh, adapted Tetris fighting from 13. third into fifth for thirteen, this. didn't you? All right, so you take one point damage. You take three. And what'd you get? Twenty. You take one, and the. The barrel smashes against the wall behind you, and Smash a whole bunch barrel. of rum Smash explodes barrel. out everywhere. No, Smash the barrel. I'm not going to smash the barrel. It's solid plastic. <laughs> Jack Wad. <laughs> she stops. She pauses and uses her ladle. Right. Uses her ladle and spends the whole combat there. <laughs> All right, so let me um, actually I'll sit this. You sit that on top of the box. The monster manual. Hobgoblins. Next uh, level, I get to my extra teacher. So we need to roll initiative, guys. Ooh. Isn't that a great picture of a hobgoblin? Hey, a little bit better. Did you need a drink or anything, Am? Misa? It's probably going to take acid Seven sponge. Seven. Wow. Cereal? 20. Trusk? 11. Hawkrosh? 19. Vladislav? 9. Q? 17. I'm plus 3. Who else had a 17? Plus 3. Misa. <coughs> See what the hobgoblins get. They have martial advantage. Yeah. Special cool thing. What? Yeah. What do you want, Felix? Okay. Seven. What were you at, Vladis Lock? Nine. Okay. All right, Hawkrosh is first as the barrel comes flying in. And now you don't even actually see into the room yet, Jeff. You just see this barrel fly. Right, but I can peek around the corner and I can see... 
into the room. You can see armored individuals with long spears hiding behind tables. And I'll hit a powerful sleep right in the middle of the room that will get all of them and not get our allies. Okay. So that's a good way to start the combat. Okay. Ow, ow. Let's roll it up. Six, eight, nine. Ow. Ten. Ow. Twelve. Uh oh. That's the last roll. No, if I get two more. Fifteen. Okay. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. And where did and you it start? Starts with the lowest, right in the middle of the room. Okay. One square back from there. Yeah. Towards. Yep. Right there. Right. And it starts with the lowest hit dice first. Only one. Two. There are two went oh, down. Oh, I get two? Cool. Yeah. Well, it works. Yeah. Um, cereal. <laughs> Take out the commander! Oh, wait, and I'll scream in, gob I'll scream in, in, uh, in Goblinoid. If you surrender, you can join me! <laughs> the guy that I saw kick the legs out. You may I'm serve like, oh, me. I'm gonna shoot you with the bow. <coughs> Eleven misses. And I will cunning action back to the back of the group. Oh. <coughs> Let everyone oh. rush him one up. Alright, it's Q. We'll make them fight a single fight. Uh, oh. She drinks the rum. So hot cross, you're blessed. So and trust D four. Yep, plus D four on saves and uh, attack rolls. Excellent. I need it. Uh, do you want to move, Am? Um. Okay. Thank you. Please come again. Did not understand it. Misa! Alright. You missed the visual. Two, two, four. <laughs> yeah, it's Thunderwave, I think there'll be three guys here. Thunderwave! Alright. There'll be C13 calm. 18? Sorry, nearest you. 13? I haven't even looked at the con. And 15. So they're all gonna take five. Five damage? Yep. Alright. Let me clear out the last battle here. Two, three, four, five, six, we'll just actually fly and back. Flutter back? Isn't that what it is? Yep. How much? Five? Ten? Ten? Uh, no, five damage. damage was five. Ten or five if they say. Yeah, I'm out of spells, so you guys do your thing. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Let's open that with real deep. I'll fall back and I can barricade them all. I'll use, I'll use my prestidigitation to light the rum on fire. Yeah, it's not going to be enough to alcohol. Nobody fall back. It. What? That's cheap rum. Trusk? It's not like ever cleared. Yeah. You'll get your rum. It's grog. You'll get your rum and okay. pour it on the table. And if they're asleep, they, would they fail a it's constitution grog. saving throw? So it's water now. For, for what? Shatter. I think when you're incapacitated, you automatically fail, right? Uh, there's there's shatter right stuff. here, but that will also wake them. Yeah, yeah it would nice. definitely wake them up. That shatter right there. Is this just 
the it would be under saves in the player's oh, handbook. I'm just gonna rule. I'm just gonna rule that it, they would fail automatically. Should, because should work on those already damage. It's a con save. But that's a. Uh, Where are you centering it? And what is the area? It's a 10 foot radius. So if I hit the one on the corner, then the two that are down will already fail. Well, where do you want to target? Where do you want to center it? All right, I'll put it, I'll move up to the door. Okay. Put it on the three that are already hit. The center of the three that are already hit. Right oh. here? Yeah. Or here? Yeah. On him. Put it here. Okay. Those four con yeah. saves? Yes. What's my DC? <laughs> you just power bomb the door. 13. Alright, made it. Failed. Made it. And failed. So every other. 11. Eleven or five? Yes. All right. So there. Okay. All right, lattice lock. A fifteen foot loop is really sucks. Well, when you have a shattered knee. Right around you. <laughs> <laughs> so I can move it all in the No, it's only plus ten. <laughs> so I can move like a hammer. But you have to pogo stick it. That's <laughs> uh. Okay, here we go. Oh, Henry. I told you guys to charge in and attack the commander. Yes. Why didn't you? So he's going to spend his turn issuing orders and commands to volley arrows into the attackers and prepare for additional area of attack spells. So he's using his leadership ability to give them force, Much like your bless. Um, yes. So yes, so essentially he blessed his troops. Uh, and they're going to volley arrows at Trusk first. Where's Critical X? There it is. Ah. Volley! These two guys are going to spend their action waking these two. Yep. So we're going to fire... Nope. Fire three attacks at uh, Trusk. I think they have to move... Natural 20! For what? To wake them. They did. Oh, and then move back. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, natural 20. So I hit you cleanly with an arrow. Oh, 16 points of damage. Gets it right in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> Next arrow. That's nasty. Uh, misses. Why do you hate my characters? What? Why do you hate your characters? Wait a minute. Where are you standing? Where are you at? You're like the bard. 
and I missed you the third time. Um, so these guys stand up. Is the bard in the gamer's movie? I don't think they can't stand up. I don't think they get their round. I think they're awakened, but they still lose their round. Um, Josh, do you have the sleep spell handy there? In your I cards? Have. I will check. I can take sleep. All right, well, Hawkrush, you're up. We'll, we'll go, go ahead and take your turn, then look it up. Well, what matters? Well, it doesn't matter right now. What do you do? That's not clear from the description. Well, what do you do? Uh, I think I'm, I'm shooting the boss in the face. All right, where are you? Here around the corner. So from the corner, I can so you'll have to move into the room to shoot the boss in the face. Sleeper takes damage, or someone uses an action to shake or slap to him away. Yeah. So I think, like like any other spell, that they would lose their their round. Well, let's see. Maybe, maybe it won't even come into play. Sure, it won't. Um, <laughs> I'm going to delay then. Delay. You have, You can... Yeah, we'll say delay is still a thing. Okay. I don't care. Okay, I am waiting to Ready. be able to move forward and then shoot into the room of the commander. If if uh, opening presents itself, right? Serial? Yes. If one it's of these guys here. in front of me gets in. He doesn't want to enter the room. That Not six exactly con against. tires him to run back forward. Oh, you drink the potion of invisibility. Here. Use that. <laughs> Unless you have an invisible version of your figure. I have several invisible versions. You want me to grab one? Sure. <laughs> I've got a prone version. Here, Jeff. Or Byron. Right here. In, in that. Center, pick one. Q. Um, what are the rules? If I want to shoot him, what are the rules as far as like shooting? Through? You're gonna have you disadvantage have? to hit. Okay, so I'll just I'll shoot that one. Unless you move up. What do you have cover too? Uh, well, if she cover? moves up and then moves into this square, you have a clear shot. No. You're not gonna provoke. No. No, if you moved away from him, you would provoke. Okay. All right. That's what I'll do. I'll move into that square. Mm -hmm. All right. Just move over Pow! 16. 16 misses. Oh, wait. I also hit it before. Yes. Yep. You can just leave that over there, Byron. Can you like hold this? 17 hit? 17 does, yes. So you can pick it up. You got a 20. Here's your fancy dice. Unless you roll some six. Ooh. 11 damage. Ow. Uh, step forward. Alright, so Hawkrosh steps forward. And. Who's the wizard on the back? Fires at disadvantage? No, I'll shoot the guy straight ahead. This guy who just stood up? Sure. That you didn't want to stand up so badly? Sure. Go ahead. Fifteen. That'll miss. No. Oh. Misa. Bad roll. Sense the presence of something next to you. <laughs> uh, the one here? Okay. 13 misses. Shrusk. I'm going to drink the potion of prayer healing. Alright. Pass in your card, sir. Eight. It's a 12. It's not bad. What kind of armor are they wearing? Um, these guys all have chain mail and big shields. 
And this guy is half plate. Okay. I think I should just pull. Uh, you gonna do anything else, Trusk? There are steps. Not much heavy things on the safe room. You gonna stay there then? Yeah, I'll move to the back of the back. Oh. You're moving to the back behind the corner? Where are you going? Move next to the half plate. In that line. Oh, so you just step forward one? No, in the line. Where are you Where those guys are lined up in front of the table. Right there. Okay. Lattice lock. Uh, big guy, make a make a will save. Wisdom save. Yes, wisdom. Okay. Nine. You fail. Tezzy taking damage. Yes. Takes twelve necrotic. Oh nice. crap. He's necrotic. And then he's moving to fight. Monster's turn. Everybody Oh You can surrender and join us. Um let's see. These two guys are going to attack trust. First attack, they have martial advantage, so if they hit, they do an extra 2d6 damage. Bye, guys. First sphere. Misses. Second sphere. Misses. Um, these three guys are going to continue volleying arrows. Um, I think this one is going to shoot at Trusk and misses. These two are going to fire at the clear magic user there, Vladislav. First attack is a one. That kind of misses. Second attack is another one. See, all those natural 20s are evening out now. Um, these two guys will volley at Vladislav again. Hit for five, six points of damage. Second arrow, missed. Um, the big guy, oh, the big guy yells. Yells, Bogdrin, get out here and help us. And the door right next to Kiwi there opens. And out steps this thing. Sports out of bounds. Rawr. What is that? Okay. I'm going to also fire an arrow. At it's a drop there. Misa <laughs> from the big guy. That's a 18. Oh, it's For eight points, wait, nine. Okay. So this guy steps out and he is, he looks like a, um, like a bipedal <coughs> boar. Okay. Hot up into the L of the line and I shoot the leader. No, no, the L of the hobgoblin line. Charge four. 
I'm not sure where you're going. Where the hobgoblin line makes an L? Put me in yeah. there. Nope. One diagonal. But right here? Yeah, because then I have a clean shot at him. Okay. Right? Well, you'd have a clean shot here, too. Oh, okay. Then I'll go to there. And I will shoot him. Okay. And you have a D4. Yep. Fourteen. Fourteen misses. Uh, t -t 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 plus five. Uh, Save face. Didn't I cast? What's it? Yeah, she got. He yeah. Got. Oh, cool. Uh, so a nineteen. Yes. That hits. <laughs> so you save face. <laughs> good. Oh, there's a six. Nine. Thirteen. Thirteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Still up. And continue my move forward into. How many have I gone now? Four. Yeah, it's four. Two more squares forward. Yeah, put me right up on it. Wow. Bold. <laughs> Cereal. <laughs> Had to use the safe face. Well, I mean, that, was, that was a good time for it. that work? You gain a bonus to a save or attack roll based on one of the allies you can see. Up to five. Because okay. you can't, you don't want to like, look bad. Was that hobgoblin? Yeah. Is it one per short or long rest? Uh, per short rest. Oh, yeah, so it's essentially. And it's a, a known bonus, which is pretty yeah. nice. And I'll scream at him again the, to surrender. So you're going to slide in behind him invisibly? Yep. Okay. Make a uh, make a stealth check. You're gonna be passing through some bad squares. Twenty six. All right, go ahead. Yeah, that's gonna be a sixteen. So you missed. So does that make you appear? I think so. No, it's if you do an attack. Okay. I've never used one of these invisible miniatures before. <laughs> well, you gotta have them. Yeah, they're so rare. But yeah, I got a few of them. They're the ultra rares from that last yeah. set. Which is a little disappointing, but whatever. I'd rather have like a super awesome lich. And then you paint rare. them. Yeah. <laughs> Hugh? What do you do? I'm going to cast protection from good and evil, or from evil and good on Trusk. On Trusk? Okay. So, um, any creature that's attaching that disadvantage, you cannot be charmed, frightened, or possessed. Okay. Nice. Disadvantage when attacking you. Alright. I could use that. Misa! Knowledge check to know what that thing is. Intelligence check. Twelve. Um, you think that's a werebore? It's some kind of boar creature. You don't know much about him, but you think he's a werebore? You think? Lock. Big guy will save. Or wisdom save. Wisdom? Alright. Full die on. You failed. One point of necrotic. 
And he goes down. Yes! <laughs> Every point counts? Yes. Ah, that means they lose their leadership abilities. Monster's turn. Say surrender now. Okay. Do any of these look like they, you know, they got the V marking or anything? No. As Bell tolls, he goes down. Ding. The Y. The Y. It's a bellhop bell. That's what we need to get you. Ding. Um, the bunk bed bell. These guys are gonna wheel around and come here at the the rogue first attack. Um, that's a fourteen. Nope. Second attack, and that's an eight or a seven. Yes. Uh, here, Jeff. First attack misses. Second attack natural twenty. Cool. All right. Uh, Newton. I think you can. Well, it's still gonna be a crit. Oh, is it? The question, the question is, is will, will you be able to force the attack to miss? Oh, then I wouldn't use it. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, it'll still be I a crit. If I could uncrit it, I would do it. But no. All right, I won't do that. Uh, so we're doing one-handed spear. Six points of damage. Um, huh? Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, Jeff. I almost screwed you out of damage. Uh, two more. So eight. I started thinking about the next guy already. Why? He cheats all the time. What? What? Uh, next attack. Natural 20 on Lisa. Don't forget your second. Nine game. points of damage. <laughs> Started to sound like a and then on Trusk, I have a disadvantage. You know, huh? You can use, uh, make I'm a DM, I can't cheat. A uh, Dex save DC 13. Failed? Fourteen damage. What? He goes down. You only had two left. No peeking chances. Bites the dust. Um, against Trusk. 17, 18, 19, 20. Disadvantage. Oh, yeah. Missed. Uh, the boar. Let's see. Wereboar. Multi attack. Big stone hammer. <laughs> okay. Um, I can't where's Q? What's her armor class? Her armor class is a fifteen. 15. All right, first attack with its maul is a miss, and then he, she, he tries to gore her with its tusks, which will hit. And a tusk is 2d6 plus 3. 10 points of damage. And he lets out a loud squeal! <laughs> Hot rush. Five foot step to move next to Misa. Oh, will I? Yeah. Don't do that. Um, I'm going to attack that guy first. You can moist me from this side. Moist? I'll just attack that guy that's on the back wall. Where are you? This one? Yes. Okay. Did you hit? 19. Oh, what are you using to attack? My long sword. Okay, you hit. Your sword? It's actually a falcata. For flavor purposes. Five. Five. 
Got it. Uh, are you staying where you're at, or are you going to do anything else? Yeah, I'm going to have to stay there. Serial? Uh, the guy from the... Miss. Twenty-two hits. Fourteen. Fourteen. He goes down. So you bury your dagger right in his belly. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and he'll actually move around that guy. Right there? Yep. Q. Where's she at? Uh, yeah, she's making bacon. She's got a rapier, too. Yeah. You want to use her rapier? Oh, here she is. Am, you're up. Just came your turn. Do you produce your rapier? I just find my dragon muscle. The pistol or the musket? The musket. What are you going to aim your musket at? Oh, where's the big guy? He's down. Right. One um, point of damage was enough to kill him. Do I, um... How about the Don't say that. Just say you took him out. No. But you'll be at disadvantage to hit him. What if I took the five foot Well, then you'll provoke. Just a mild uh, buzzing noise. Is after after all. Okay. Make your attack. You want to you you smite? enough to take him out. That's Can a pig man. Not, has he been doing all that damage? Um, he gets, yes. He did 10 points of damage to you. We think no. he's a were pig. I marked it. Oh, okay. You think he's a were pig. Alright, I'll do some money. But can I decide that for I attack? Yeah. Were boar. Oh, you hit. Do you want to smite? Yes. Alright, that'll make it a magical attack. Or and smote. Yes, it will. Yes. You are smote. All right, so you get to add. You'll have a total of three d eight. Oh crap! My shield is fine. Add stop. Sword. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. So you stick that rapier right into him, and he, he lets out a blood-curdling shout. Sweet! But he's still standing. <laughs> Alright, Misa. Alright, I'm going to shock and grass. for that one. Okay. You hit. He goes down. Spent half an hour telling us about that before you came down. What? That she's on a diet. I did not. <laughs> I'm just trying to get you in trouble. I know. Lattice lock. Five foot step me into the green. Okay. Little piggy there needs to make it well safe or wisdom safe. All right. Let's see. Big roll. Big roll. Eighteen. He makes it. Roll to a five. And then 
the big guy here, the big werebore. First with his maul. The little piggy attacking kiwi. Natural 20. Well, that, oh. that sounds made up there. Fake news. Fourteen points of damage. Well, that could have been a lot worse. Yep. You like that, huh? <laughs> and then he'll try to use his tusks on trusks. <laughs> oh. Can we trust it? Oh, a two or a natural twenty? Because I'm at disadvantage because your protection from evil on. I'll take the two. Yeah. All right. Hot rush. Two peas. Hmm. Keep whacking. Which one? The one I hit before. The, the, on the wall there? Wall. Touching yourself in the middle of the combat. So she lays on hands. Is that all you're going to do? Well, you could move. You provoke, but you could move. Misa? Dice is evening out now after all those natural 20s earlier. Uh, the Werebore is going to turn its attention to Trusk <clears throat> after you clobbered it. Huh? Yeah. I know. He doesn't know that, though. He just knows that he's been wily. First attack with the Maul. Misses. Then the Tusks. Ooh. The Tusks. That's a 16 on the disadvantage. What's your armor class? 18. What? I that switched sounds... back to the Warhammer and Shield. Oh. That's, I thought I was going to say that sounds made up to me. Great Club's two handed. Yeah. So I switched back to the Great Club and Swift Shield. I need all the ACs. Wait. Your, which weapons are you using? I got a Warhammer and a Great, and a great Club. And a, but which weapon are you using? The Warhammer. Okay, was that where you're using all along? Yeah. I just did the DA damage or Is the Warhammer magical? No. Okay, that means it didn't do any damage. What? Yes. What? It did zero. 
we're, we're creatures that are immune to normal organs. All right, and I'll switch to the great glow. Mm -hmm. Um, so that means your other attack did zero. Your other one that did nine did zero as well, right? Yeah. Boy, he just got a lot of hit points back. Yeah. Should have taken the hit. <laughs> um, so who's up now? Yeah, because I would have needed him. Hawkrosh. Let's try to finish this guy off. Sure, I missed. Serial? Ten. Yeah. You guys are heavily armed. Armored. Twelve. No. Those twelves. That'll hit. Four will hit. Which one are you aiming at? One directly in front of me. Okay. Ten, twelve, He's six down. is something. Uh, Prison shank him with your offhand dagger. Step up. Okay. Q. <laughs> Work on that piggy. Do you have any smites left? Do you have any spells left? I guess is a better question. You trade a spell slot for a smite. Okay. Now, is this your regular rapier? Yes. All right, so you stick your rapier in it. It doesn't even seem to phase it, though. Oh, it's not much. What about my um, dagger? No, I don't think, you don't think you have any your magic Your weapons. smite is what turned it into yeah. magical. I see. Okay. Okay. All right, got it. Misa. Is that a first You're ready. Yeah. I'll do it. 17 <laughs> misses. Damn, look at the work with a black eye. <laughs> Trusk. Alright, here comes the club. Uh, would that make that a natural 20? Nope. It's not a natural 20, is it? That's an unnatural 20. Yes. Seven. Alright. Lattice lock. Uh, Piggy makes will save, or wisdom save. Two. Twelve points of necrotic. Jeez, nice. Josh. I know. Spells he ordered that night from Am make a strength saving throw as the boar charges and tries to trample over you. You're blessed. Yep. Alright, so runs past, he's gonna provoke from you. You hit. Okay. And he's going to attack Vladislav. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I think I hit you. Hit on the die. All right. So 4d6 plus 3 damage. Are you down? Are you down? Oh, 15 points. I'm at Yeah. It's his, it's his ch uh, charge ability. Essentially, essentially, she just didn't get trampled. He just blasted past her. I'm down. Are oh, you down? Yep. Vladislav gets knocked unconscious Oof. from the boar charge. Hot rush. Drop my pistol and sword, and then throw the axe at the boar. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, it is magical, that. So yeah. Yeah. Are my, is my musket or No. So, 18. You hit. Eight. Nice. Nice. Hit. Moist. For how much? Moist. You've been moistened. <laughs> Seven. Ooh, nice. Cereal? You've been well moistened. And five foot <laughs> step towards the boar. Actually, no, leave me where I am. Him in the lower, lower back. Am, what do you want to try to do? You could do things like shoving, grappling, uh, things to try to to subdue. You could go and thing. pull the axe out of it and whack it with the axe. <laughs> yeah, there's an axe lying on the ground over there. You can go grab the axe and attack with it. Is it magical? Yeah. Where's, where's the axe? At? It's in his square. In the boar. Okay, yeah. I'll try to do that. Okay. <laughs> so you grab Jeff's boarding axe. Yeah. No. No, it's just a plus one do hand axe. Do I have enough time to hit back? I also try to attack with Yeah, it. sure. Now, it's, uh, hand axes are strength weapons, right? Yeah. Not very strong. Oh. But she hit with it anyway. And you're plus it. So what, um, It's a d6 damage. Plus one. One, one d6 plus one. Yep. Oh, seven. And the seven. boar goes down. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Beautiful. It just right arm. So you run over and grab Jeff's axe and just whack it in the back of the head with it. Blood sprays all over the place. I my hand for the axe back. Throws it back at you. All right. We play pepper. Victory. Yeah, we got a pepper around the infield after the play. Yes. Yeah, I am out of spells. Me too. That last moistness. I got one. One hour rest. Yeah. One each left. One second and two first left. Now, okay. fortunately, I can, uh, if we rest, I can play a little ditty. You should check this room and see if you could camp in there. I don't want to go camp in the, the folk sad side. Do we want to do the camp out for in the middle of the battle? Jeez, Jeff, come on. I was doing that for Nika. Yeah, that was killing me. Oh, and this door's open now. <laughs> what are we going to do? Short? Yeah, I, think. I think we need to secure the immediate area and then hole up here. We've got the tables to Let's search this area and then uh, we can put tables in front of the these doors. Do what we did in Rapid Nathic and we can take a short rest just, just bar up. Yeah, All right, file up the table in front of these doors. Well, let's clear the, the so side you search the room. Yes. Yeah. All right, so there's eight suits of chainmail, eight spears, eight shields, um, eight long swords. Wow. The, the let's equip the cobalt. <laughs> the boss. Yeah. Our goblin has some special stuff. Your fire. Oh. Here, Byron. Oh, I took you out. To the blessed token. Just give myself a minute. Okay. Out the cleric with a blessed token. Oh. All right. Let's see here. Oops. We got this. Ooh. We got. Sorcerers are very Looks like a ring. Hey, you don't have a pearl. You don't consume the pearl. I know. You're one less forever. <laughs> Keister. You need a string of them, though. Yeah. <laughs> to do the lawnmower. <laughs> This? That's what gets him strike. <laughs> what, the mod mower? No. <coughs> Alright, so on the boss, you find 
this stuff. And he also has, the boar has a belt buckle of gold, worth 150 gold. What's the design? You won't need that anymore. Um, interestingly enough, it's a boar's head. <laughs> Who's keeping track of it? They make good shoes by red. Where's the, uh, what did we find? A rapier, a scroll, and a ring. What, what's the scroll? I like the ring. The ri scroll is of comprehend languages. That's rude. Right. Are we going to have that? So, uh, you can do the identify. Can we, well, let's, I'm let's check these side rooms. I'm going to search the room that the, uh, boar, where boar came out of. All right. Try to identify this stuff while they're searching. Um, the boar's room is extremely sparsely is populated. The There's, there is, um, a large a flank of meat that's about half eaten on a table. Uh, there's nothing else really in here, though. Is it the board room? You got a 14 investigation. There's nothing. Okay. And then did we have another side there's, yeah, chamber? There's, another door. there's three other doors. Yep. Mother. Those we should keep them for yeah. when we're ready to leave. Yeah. Well, let's pile up on, on the first one by the barrel and check it. This room, are you going to open it? All right. Figure if there was something in there that would have come out during the fight. No. All right. This large room appears to be the Hobgoblin Captain's quarters. Nice. I will search that room. Okay. Um. There is. That's a fourteen. <laughs> I didn't do a good job. We got peace. I like it already. What? The hot belt ring. All right. I like it more. So you open the door, and sitting on the bed. There is a female figure. She's got her hood drawn, and she's, her back is to you, and her hands are, are clenched together, and she's very scared. Seems to be very scared. And she says, if you let me go, I will tell you where he's hidden his treasure. Who are you? I am... Is there a... Let me go, and I will tell you. Do we know who sh who that is? Where he's hidden his treasure. Does she seem truthful? Where who hid his Did treasure? Evil? She is evil. evil. Where who Trust hid me. his treasure? Ikar, the commander, hobgoblin commander. Well, he's dead. Well, let me cast his own truth on him. I realize that he is dead. But if you let me go, I will tell you where he has hidden his treasure. <laughs> uh, his treasure is there. Huh? Can't you cast Gazelle Truth? Okay. How about you come and show us where he is treasure? Oh, yeah. I will tell you. Okay. And you can le uh, release me. How can and you'll be quite rich. How can we be sure you're going to be getting the truth? Do I know anything about Ikar or her as associates of Gordon? No. Gordon has nothing to do with this place. He was the last slave stockhold that you guys were at. Oh, wait. That's right. This is the this is the fortress. Okay. I guess so. so I don't know. So I don't recognize either of them. No. I will, uh... And I don't know their... They're not notorious names. Make a perception test now. We'll release you when you... When okay. we get a... 26... Okay, you notice that the her hood seems to be moving slightly. What? I will uh, use my suggestion for one for uh, a racial room, and I'll say, "Why don't you just tell us uh, where the treasure oh is now? God. You already know where it is, and we will let you go if you just tell us right now." <clears throat> she says, "I have. That's what I have said. 
guarantee my my safety, and I will tell you where it is. I guarantee it. You stay with us. You'll I says, guarantee it. To the she says, open the closet door. There is a false floor in the closet I'll that you'll check. have to remove. I'll go check. And you go check, and you realize, yeah, I mean, you would never have found it had you not. It's like there's like an actual board that's flush with the wall that's over the top of something that you have to pry out. And underneath okay. it, there is a trap door. Okay. I will use my, you'll use the wand on the, on the, ch on the chest. Hey, you don't see a chest, you see a trap door. I'll use the, on the trap door. There's no trap. I'm already opening it with my axe. Okay, there is a large iron chest underneath the trap door. I will haul it out. Okay, it's pretty heavy. I'm pretty strong. Okay, I'm just saying it's really heavy. Okay. You can hear coins rattling around inside. And she says, <coughs> now may I go? Where are you going to go from here? Away from here. Just tell us. Where's the way to the compound from here? What compound? The surface outside. The way you came. I didn't know which way we came. Well, you got in here somehow. Well, that, take, that took us outside. Through a she rises. She back stands door. up. Um, she stands up. Oh, God. Are you unconscious? No. Oh, I just lying down. down. She got knocked over by a blessed token. Oh. I don't know where everyone's standing. He was blessed. He's like... Well, I'm hauling the chest out. Yeah. I just let her go. And she rises up and she begins to walk out of the room. Well, clearly they know that we're here already. So we'll make much of a difference. Do you guys have any problem with her leaving? What door is she going out of? Out of, out of here? Yeah. Out of the whole... She's going to head towards the exit from the kitchen. So the double. So we just... Uh, from there. That's not a double door. Those are two separate doors. Okay. So I'm pretty sure she's going back out the way we came. Yeah. The secret entrance. The secret entrance. Uh, what was her name? Run into the Zariath. And it's, um, everyone make a perception as she walks past. With her hood drawn. Uh, that would be a six. Fifteen. Seventeen. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. So you and Byron, Serial and Hawkrosh, as she's walking by, her head is down and she seems to be trying to hide her face. But it's that point you catch a glimpse of a couple serpent heads yes. poking out from underneath the hood as she walks past and out the door. Okay, so chest. And the hobgoblin's name was Ecor. Yes, I C A R. You said he had a half plate on, right? Yes, he had half plate on. So why would that on much longer? longer? Huh? He's not gonna have that on much longer. You gonna take it? Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, search the chest. Okay. It's not trapped. I'm gonna open it. Okay. All right. Um. There is quite a lot of stuff in here. There is a total of 7,000 gold pieces. Mm -hmm. A silver and black opal bracelet worth 200 gold pieces. Mm -hmm. A potion. Let me make sure I get the right one. Yeah, I'm going to be thrilled with these 3,000 gold pieces. <laughs> Are you going to try to rob the captain? I'm waiting for you guys to go for it one of these days. It's going to be Jeff. Just know it. <coughs> 18. Once we split these 3,000 gold pieces, we're going to All right. There's a potion. Sorry. Uh, let me see if I know what that is. I mean, I'll be all around. I'm going to go through everybody's purse all the time. Okay. 
I don't know what that is. Anybody know what this potion is? Let me uh, let me go and taste it. Drink it. Hold on. There you go. Uh, twenty-three. That's a potion of fire breath. This is a uh, potion of cure wounds. <laughs> Excellent. I need it. Okay. I'm hurt. Potion of fire breath. Especially after next time, we'll land again in the fourth. Still like it. Seven. Yeah. This one. Let's wait till we see what else we have. We got another potion here. You know what this is? This. Ten. Come on, wizard, you can do better than that. We got to cast guidance on you. Potion of this. Do you want to cast guidance on me? Yeah. Is this a regular healing potion? Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. That's 20. Oh, that's a um, superior potion of healing. Is this superior also healing. This is this also a fire breath? Well, that's the one you already identified. No. No, there, now there's the fire other one. Is right here. This is the new one. Okay. No, that was fire breath. The red bottle was fire breath. This, we don't know what it is. Plus All right, he identified the other potion. Nah. Which other potion? The silver one. Growth? The triangle potion. The triforce potion. Another ring. Um, let's see. So who wants the growth and fire breath? There are eight uncut sapphires worth 250 gold. Fire, fire breath is the red one. Yeah. Okay. Everyone roll a d20. <laughs> Nine. Two. Nine. Two. Sixteen. What'd you get? Huh? Your guy. I got two. You got two? That's 25, man. Alright. Gold uh, and cut sapphire. 250 gold each. There's one uncut ruby worth 500 gold pieces. And one last with ocean. Nothing. Nobody noticed it. Thank you, Roman of 19. <laughs> One more potion. One more potion. We also got this potion. I don't know what it is. Cast guidance. Yeah. Tastes like a wind walker. 23. That is gaseous form. <laughs> I label some movies. Don't write that on the card. Superior nope. healing. Don't label the cards. Write down a list. That is numbers. gaseous form. So 20 is gaseous form. Ugh. 18 is fire breath. What these magic items? 7 is growth. Oh, shoot. <sighs> That's growth. That's superior. This is superior healing. Yeah, that's superior. I don't know. What is it? That's the growth potion. Where? The one with yeah. the X on it? Oh, I want to know. Regular healing. No, none of the healing potions have a number. All right, Josh, are you, are you guys taking a short rest then? Josh, do you want to identify these then? Sure. Spells back? I don't think so. I don't think so. Do they get anything back on a short rest? I don't want to look at your abilities. They might uh, be. hold on. Yeah. 
It would say in the description is there. It takes a long or short rest to get something back. This is all my entire I think I just copied the description right out of the computer. Are we taking a short rest? That was the plan. Yes. Roll a d20, Matt. And everyone is getting some extra healing. Hold on, don't do the healing yet. Oh. All right. We gotta do a random encounter first. Oh boy. Which uh, what room were you guys resting in? The big room, and we've piled the tables up. Oh, are we in the captain's quarters? Yeah, captain's quarters, and let's have the tables arranged to make uh, entry into this room difficult. Divine sins and lay hands are long rests. So I'm playing the song very quiet. Are we? We're in the captain's quarters, right? Right, put your miniatures in there. Yeah. Matt, can you position all of us in the captain's quarters? And we have positioned the tables, the tables uh, as a barricade. Any of your channel mm -hmm. divinity stuff is short of all rest. Oh, short. So, so your channel Probably divinity stuff is short of rest. So Matt, right here. Oh, yeah, the difference Matt, is that the tables are propped up against each of the entry doors in yeah, such a way that they should... Uh, fall or clatter if, if anybody tries to get through them. Yep. Okay, so the one to the hallway and then the one? two doors we haven't searched. All yep. right. So tables leaned up against the door with bells on. Okay. Josh, the first ring that you met, you identify is a ring of fire resistance. That's cool. Wow. It's my ring. Yeah. Give it to the red dragon one. It does require attunement. Wants the ring of fire resistance. I can live with that. So you get to one of the front one. Something that I didn't know until I was reading about it is if you have resistance to an element, you're also like fire resistance, you're also immune to effects like overheating from extreme heat from the sun or, you know, that sort of thing. Cool. Oh, that's the wrong one. Who wants the ring of fire resistance? No, I'll take it. I'll take it. You want it, Josh? Hold off. I want to uh, make that kind of right Roll here. forward. Mm hmm Should we roll on it? Well, who else wanted it? No one's taking it. No one's spoken up yet, but... No. Or should we give him uh, to the bar with the six con so he doesn't overheat really easy? Alright, you guys figure that out. Might be okay. The rapier is a plus one rapier. I like the rapier. I agree with that. It does not require attunement. Anybody else want the rapier? No. I can hold it. I can't. Another one pop, though. I can't use it. Right here. I can take your current right here. I'll give you my current. So this is plus one to hit, plus one to damage. Yeah. Right. And up there, give you Marshall with him. So I'm plus six to hit, and then plus one to hit, plus six damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So quite a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought there was another one. You actually didn't actually physically see another ring. Oh, I thought, I thought there was another one over there. No, this is a fire resistance. Okay. We say wait over is here. Felix trapped outside or trying to get in? Yeah. You got a yeah. ring of feather we fall. Yeah, I, I think, we had a yeah you've had that. Fall. You want to let him in? Yeah, let him in. All right. So, it's almost five. Do we want to take a break for dinner? I don't know. Sure. Ann was hoping to get some dinner. Okay, 
So let's take a little bit of a break and we'll re-adjourn in about half hour. So the encounter is going to happen before we finish the rest, right? Yes. Okay.